hello scorpios how are you guys doing so we're going to jump into your message when it comes to this person that you are thinking about we're going to do what they really want to say but can't or how they're feeling for you what their feelings i'm not sure i'm going to title this but it's definitely how they're feeling for you their true feelings towards you what they want you to know um within this um with this video so if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt but if it doesn't resonate i will have your playlist linked below in the description box and also for those of you who are ready to take the next step and would love to jump into a personal reading go ahead and hit me up at the scene tarot at gmail.com we still do have those three packages available until the end of this month so we have a couple of days left until we get into the new packages here um the new package that i have is this one package um, that I created so we'll see I will let that go when I feel like hmm, it, it's 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 something that you want um, but yeah so the packages that are available now are the $25 read which is for three questions only then we have the $55 read which is for 20 minutes and then $65 read which is for 30 minutes okay so let's see what we have here for you this person's energy and what this person really wants to say that they can't say they're having just a difficult time within this physical realm with you you know with all the experiences okay so we have the seven of cups you know the seven of cups in reverse um and I feel like there's a lot of things that's going on within this person's life that they're definitely overwhelmed with. And I feel like they got themselves in a bind. You know, this person is bringing this up very quickly. Like, they got themselves in a situation here. So tell me more. Okay. So I'm seeing the two of vessels here. I'm seeing the the nine of pentacles in reverse we also have the hermit in reverse and then what is this one we have the two of wands in the upright so there's going to be a decision here um that this person wants you to make okay i feel like they're going to give you an offer but i feel like with this situation at first you know, the, the, what I'm picking up here is that you're going to be going through a lot um, because with them giving other people the attention here, you are losing the, um, the security of the relationship. You're losing this person attention. You're losing this person emotionally. So you're feeling dry within this energy. But there is also the two of vessel here that this person is trying to protect this foundation and protect you emotionally and i'm saying like dramatically it's like they're um really working over time to keep a balance between you and them and to have you stay with them within this this moment this purpose so it's like they chose you a long long time ago before you guys even met <coughs> excuse me this is what i'm picking up here hmm. very dramatic um it's like they definitely is overprotected as well emotionally um this could be someone that cries a lot someone that is feeling like someone is out to get their relationship destroy their relationship with you or their foundation with you because i'm seeing this um energy of loss you know a lot of loss behind this person with the nine of pentacles in reverse it's like their power is being stripped or their um independence is being stripped here like this person is pushing you away though within the hermit it's like there's so many things that's going on that you just want to have honest you know answer about um and this person is not giving you that answer and you're just being pushed away you feel like instead of them protecting you like they think that they are within this realm you know they think that they're protecting you they think that they're guiding you they think that 
you know, there there's so many things against you in them. And first of all, I do feel like this person caused this, you know, let's talk about it. They caused this emotional roller coaster between you and them and this transition that is happening between you and them. Um, they caused this and now they're panicking with this Wolf of Cups here trying to protect the foundation of your relationship emotionally. Um, so this person heart could be beaten, over beaten, I don't know. They're just like standing firm with this sword in the two of vessel energy. Like nothing is going to break you guys up. You know, but I feel like with this energy, they're kind of like sabotaging their own relationship here as well. So this is very intense connection. This is what I'm seeing here. You feel like there is no justice. I'm getting number um, 11 for those of you, but I'm feeling like there's no justice within this, you know, I feel like there is, <sighs> there's like things that are just crumbling. I'm also feeling like this person is like, you know, they just feel like things are just not where it needs to be. I'm seeing like a whole, like a, 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 a transition happening within the death here. And I feel like this person have learned from the past. This is what I'm seeing here. But I just feel like they're moving forward. They're being stripped and moving forward here. So we have 13. We have 10. We have a lot of 10s coming up here. We have Scorpio energy. This is you. A lot of you are moving forward with your life from this person, from this Two of Cups. You're saying this person was way too emotional and controlling. Um, yes, there is a strong vibe of the Two of Cups where, well, I'm saying the Two of Vessels because there's a strong vibe of like, this was a very, could be a very toxic relationship very easily, but it was just this closeness that you felt very quickly, very fast. You were drawn to each other it was just like oh my gosh you just couldn't help this you couldn't break from this relationship and now it's like becoming way too unhealthy for you this person even knows this and feels this and they want you to express this but this is how they made this you know it's kind of like having everything that they ever wanted sabotaging this whole relationship pushing you away and now coming back giving you a choice and it's really crazy because it's not like you are moving on, you know, because it's very, it's more than that. It's, it, it's some of you, you feel like you, you can't, you know, you can't move away from this person because of the, the connection that is felt between you and this person is just deep and only you and this person can understand uh, the, the connection, right? So it's like you have this bond that can't be broken and people just, a lot of people, even if this person move on with someone else, it's like those people are going to always be jealous of you because you have this bond with this person. Then we have the Ten of Wands here. We have the Hope or the Pope, I should say, energy. We have the wheel of fortune so a lot of you are definitely diving into faith this is what i'm seeing here a lot of you are definitely trying to find the answers um moving very spiritually and just try to move very positive in a positive light here you definitely want to change within this connection but this connection is still a burden for you this is what i'm seeing it's like still a burden you're still carrying this person Meantime, your intuition is very much connected with you. So you're receiving dreams or you're receiving messages for those of you. And you're just like really trying to avoid that and still just going towards helping this person and forgetting to nurture and take care of yourself. And I'm also seeing the hermit where you're really away from your spirituality, you know, within this. It's like you're being pushed, like this whole transition to be like, okay, well, you can have it all, but remember to also embrace spirit you know and you forgot to do that 
within this connection because you're, you're trying to help the person that you love but you can't let anyone anyone be first your divine have to be first you know yourself have to be first you have to love self first without without any kind of belief you cannot love yourself you know you have to you have to be entwined or connected somehow into that um to be able to love yourself so you can assist this person whereas this person is going to be taking a lot of your son your joy away from you so i feel like this person you know you know they want to tell you that they want to tell you about the seven of cups you know definitely about how they have done so many things and betrayed this whole relationship of course and they're struggling financially here but they're still so crazy crazy in love with you and they want you to choose there's a choice that they're going to give you and this is what i'm seeing for and what they want to say and they can't really express this in the physical because the way it's coming off in the physical is like this person is crazy crazy a lot of you might be trying to run for the hills because their love is so intense and and you love them too because this is a mutual feeling that i'm picking up here so you're both crazy you know those relationship i saw a video the other day with two people fighting in the car going back and forth like dolls just fighting in the car and that's what it looked like dolls with the hair moving back and forth going crazy and this is exactly what this could be you know with this two of vessels being here okay so so emotionally invested so intense you know that you just can't find yourself breathing without this person's energy that is pretty scary okay all right so we have a page of pentacles here we also have the six of vessel coming up here. So another emotional roller coaster. We have the nine of vessel. This person is crying that they cannot fulfill your every need. It's like they're disappointing you. You have the nine of vessel, the nine of cups, so they can't even fulfill you. Oh my gosh, the promises. Wow, look. A lot of you could be married to this person as well. Separation. Okay, so you have the two of vessels here, the two of cups here. That's crazy. Two of cups, two of vessels. One is just dramatically different than the other, okay? Um, but is definitely ruled by water, both of them. Um, <clears throat> Ooh, very intense connection this is what i'm picking up for you squirps very intense connection i feel like this person just can provide for you like give you stability wise you know can't make you feel safe give you a home that is very much paid for and very full and very happy and very stable and make you feel very stable as well. Like in this moment, this person is having this hard time with that aspect to make you feel like you are unreplaceable. You know, they just can't. Now this is a cycle that I'm also picking up for you in this energy, like you're going through this cycle together because the Wheel of Fortune is here, okay, which this is a faded, um, this is a faded contract between you and this person, obviously, right? But what am I picking up really is that this is incomplete. This is something about this connection. It's like you want change, but this is incomplete. Um, so for those of you who are in separation, but this person thinks that, of course, you belong to them, okay? With the two of vessels, like you are theirs, they are yours kind of thing. It's very hard to move away from this connection. Um, <clears throat> you guys are in separation but there is kind of like this unity that needs to happen like this person wants you back but they cannot it's like the oh my god you know the, the nine of vessels are in reverse the nine of cups is in reverse it's like no they can't make you happy It's pretty sad here. 
they made so many promises and it just never, never happened. But then there is a six of vessels, you know, this huge form of knowing that you know this person before you had a past life energy with this person before. Like you just have this huge form of connection with this person. You just can't break it. You feel like you are like in this, you know, um, this bottle. <laughs> Um, you're trying to clarify yourself, you're trying to purify yourself here, but it's like something that is hidden. You know, you have past issues that you and this person knows that you need to like definitely dive into. It's not gentle. This is not what I'm seeing. I feel like it's just more like this is something that you can't run away from, you can't hide from. <clears throat> There's a lot of memories here. There's a lot of struggle here between you and this person. But look at this though, you have this blessing of this bird on top. This white bird. Within this, it's like as it, as it, as it may be unhealthy or chaotic, you still have this energy of hope between you and this person. I feel like there is some kind of struggle that you and this person been through as well with the Six of Vessels in the past. There was a lot of struggle here. A lot of, um, like this person may be taking care of you. Um, a lot of you might have a child involved together. This is so deep. <laughs> this is so deep. The Knight of Vessels. The King of Swords. I feel like there is going to be communication with you and this person. And there is going to be an emotional, um, like, emotional energy as well. So I feel like this person could emotionally help you and them to, like, really fix this connection. Because I'm seeing like they're coming in and finally, in this moment, with, when they're coming in, not only in emotions, but with communication, it's going to be okay, you know? Like you feel like with the Knight of Vessel, finally this person is coming in and it's going to be okay. Everything was very dramatic in your separation. And now that they're coming back, you feel like it's going to be okay. You see, this is the kind of vibe that I was feeling with this Two of Vessels. Like, it's like the relationship that I'm picking up here is quite pretty deep this is all that you know that's what i'm seeing here this is all that both of you know is each other you just like you know one of those relationship where you work sleep <laughs> everything together and this is so much that you need a break from each other but at the end of the day it's like you need to be around each other you need each other so it's like a love and hate relationship. Yeah, so I'm seeing the Ace of Swords. So there is definitely learning that is happening here between you and this person. There's going to be truth. There's going to be a conversation with the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords. So this person is going to make their way towards you and to talk to you. This is what they want to tell you. This is what they're feeling here. They're having these huge downloads. Um, at the moment experiencing a lot of information and understanding the knight of wands yeah they're rushing in they're rushing in not yet ready to let go of you of this connection this is what i'm seeing here The devil, also Capricorn energy. So you're dealing with a lot of um, issues with this person. This person has a lot of, you know, trauma. <clears throat> They're 
they're also trying to deal with themselves. But there's a lot of intimacy that this person likes that they're bringing up with you. Like they just love being with you in that manner. It's like a, some form of ad addiction. And this kind of slowed down that process. And I'm seeing this is what happened when that process slowed down. So what they're telling me is that this is how it used to be in the start. This sexual, this, you know, excitement. And it kind of slowed down. And I feel like what it is, because I feel like this energy that I'm picking up is like a lot of you have been together for a while. Um, it could be since childhood. This is what I'm picking up with this six of um, vessels here. Um, like you know this person, you nurtured this person, this person, and you were, you know, had like parents that lived on the same block, or you just had, you know, this closeness as you were growing up, and, you know, it's 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 like, this is what how it started, very passionate, and every every chance you guys got, you got intimate, right? But now as you got older, it's kind of like kids came into the picture. Um, you know, things happened and this person's sex drive just never changed or whatever about them. This toxic situation never changed. And they find you very, very attractive. Very, very attractive. I'm not even going to show this because this is nude within the Queen of Wands here, okay? And you used to, and I feel like you still do, but it's just not enough. You still do. I'm um, trying to give this person everything that they need. You know, um, the Queen of Wands is someone that is very nurturing and very, you know, um, I'm not going to say submissive, but kind of, like you're just trying to give this person everything and make sure that they're okay and you forget to really take care of yourself. But this is not enough and they actually went out and got themselves in a bind. This is what I'm picking up for this read. They got themselves in a situation here. Okay, so let's just focus on you, Scorpio, for a sec and let's get some messages out for you. Let's do four. Because I feel like we need some light into this, into this one. For Scorpio. What's the energy for Scorpio? Two months, I'm hearing. Two months, two weeks. It depends on your energy with this person or your situation, but I'm seeing like they're presenting this offer in that time of frame. So for those of you, because this person is Russian, I believe this is going to be two weeks of, you know, wait time if you guys are separated or if you guys are together, you know, it doesn't even matter. But I've seen a conflict here between you two emotionally. It's like the, um, the, it's the connection that is healthy is not quite there. I think this is a, 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 a obsession. This is what I'm hearing between you and this energy. All right, so let's see. Okay, we have number one. Ooh, so we have Aquarius energy after the storm. After the storm, there's going to be sun. Woo, there's going to be light. There's going to be peace. There's going to be happiness. Everything is going to be placed together for you. And you're going to be happy. And you're going to be rested. And you want to experience every bit of this moment after the storm now you know the funny thing is with this two of wands i feel like a lot of you are in the end in the end of this um adversity that you're going through with this energy so and it's a choice it's everything that you need right everything that you wanted and finally they're going to present this to you okay so but I feel like this is like a window to something new, <laughs> a new, you know, experience, inspiration. So, wow, look at this. 
Look at this. How much a beautiful energy with all these butterflies. Oh, Lord, these cards be slipping out of my hands. You have, um, what? I, well, I should say dragonflies or bumblebees. Bumblebees, which is another symbol as, you know, your ancestors. Um, just you know, like appearing within bumblebees or butterflies or dragonflies, you know. And then we have flowers. Oh, wow, like the queen of wands, so nurturing and... Wow, you're going to be like really just embracing a lot of um, new possibilities here. A lot of things are going to be presented to you. And it's bringing back your determination and your interests within the wands here. And these movements are happening. So I'm definitely seeing that whatever you have been like placed, like put in the back of your head and not really taught, thought about in a long time when it comes to building and creating and you know been in, being inspired you're that is going to be coming back to you so a lot of ideas are going to be pla being placed on you so be prepared be prepared for some of you could be um you know around a lot of your uh, fire signs like Aries, Leo, or Sag energy as well, Scorpio. So I'm seeing Aquarius here, but I'm also seeing the inspired card here. So yes, I see it traveling for those of you as well. This could involve, involve traveling for you somewhere that you have to go a little far distance to experience and you need to make a decision. Go for it. Go for it. Don't hold back because this happened once in a lifetime. These, you know, offers won't return you know, in like tomorrow and the next day. No, you it's presented to you right now. You need to take it so you can get another experience, another experience, you know. Um, enjoy this, okay? All right, so we have, ooh, step by step. Every time I see this card, step by step. Okay, bring it to form. So a lot of you are manifesting. A lot of you are praying for things. A lot of you are going towards something. Number 41, number three, number one. Um, and I'm seeing like you're taking those steps and you're being guided. Again, dragonflies around you, you know? beautiful this a light in the darkness you know guiding you a lot of you might feel very um trapped within this energy honestly this is what i'm seeing because so this whole read was kind of like intense and dark and now you're feeling like you know what there's a light leading you to out and to explore and to get back your independence because within this energy i feel like this person lost their way as well they lost their independence as well as you did because it was so deep within this love. It was so dark within this love. It was a lot of physical agony. It was a lot of mental agony. It was a lot of spiritual agonies because I feel like you're trying to, in this reading, there was a, a hint of the, hope, the Pope, right? Trying to hold on to your spiritual beliefs and, um, but at the same time, you weren't being you weren't following those beliefs you weren't taking them seriously you were really just going through this experience and seeing that you needed to either take this time out for yourself um you know aim to grow but you didn't it was like morally like nurturing this person it was all about this energy and this person's happiness within this whole read okay so tell me more because I'm seeing you moving on, Scorpio. This is you, okay, your energy. But you're moving towards, you're like letting go, whatever. You're not stuck. And you're still holding all of this baggage up. You're moving towards this baggage, okay? And this change and this hope and this cycle of things, of doing this thing. And I feel like you are also waiting um, for this person. Knowing that this person cannot provide what you want especially when it comes to your hopes, your desires, your dreams, you're going to have to fulfill that. And I think that's what the inspiration card comes from. You're going to have to fulfill that and experience that. And I feel like what I was also feeling is that you really put the hope within this person. Like they were going to help you create your dream. But the truth is we're here. We came here alone, right? So sometimes 
we, we in life, yes, you're going to have people to push you if you need that push of inspiration or you need that push of, um, you know, that confidence to help you through a conflict or something within life, right? But I feel like when it comes to your learning experiences and achieving your goals, you're going to have to do that on your own. There's no one that is going to give you that for free, right? So you need to make sure that you're doing these things and accomplishing these things on your own, like your dreams your desires you know this is why you're here all right so one more out of this i'm just going to take the first one because you know what i'll take all of them because since they fell you have number 20 softly softly um the tender touch all right a lot of you were definitely being hard on yourself this is what i'm feeling and the angels are trying to remind you to just be calm and collective and know that you are human you're not perfect don't be hard on yourself. Don't try to go back in the past and change anything when something dramatically happens and teach you a lesson, all right? Just know that you did all that you could in that moment, but you learn from your experience too and your mistakes and make sure to apply to um, your future. And sometimes, you know, when something, some, something like this happen and take place, and make you wake up and see something is because there's going to be another chance another opportunity and another test along the way for you to see if you have really learned from that experience and see if you have remembered that experience right and then we have the number 31 Ooh, trust yourself look at this beautiful energy though oh my god i love this oh my god so <laughs> Uh, the, I feel like your angels are all over you in this and is trying to because they're trying to communicate with you through animals oh my god I'm seeing all kind of animals <laughs> and you know around you yeah, trust yourself energy and know that you're protected know that you're guided know that you are favored know that you have a lot of gifts about you and you know when you see a certain animal around you it is not by chance it is you know guided towards you just looking over you just protecting you and it's time to for what to forgive yourself it's time to be whole it's time to get out of this rut that this relationship have placed you in yes this is a faded relationship this is another thing that i'm picking up it's a faded relationship but of course you guys lost yourself you both lost yourself in this in this connection and it's time to get out and it's time to be yourself again so and then i see ooh, it says dream a beautiful dream so a lot of you are having visions and having dreams oh my gosh um a lot of you are experiencing the universe within your dreams and stars within your dreams you're 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 shining really bright right now your energy is really bright really beautiful um, and you need to believe that. Oh my God. So look at this water base though. I'm seeing a lot of blue here, Scorpio. This is your color. This is your color as well. Okay. And then we have number 12 here. Every journey starts with a single step. And it's funny how you have this. I can't show this card. I'm just going to cover it really quickly. I'm just going to cover it because it's very nude. But the universe, you are packed, you have your suitcase, you have your ancestors following you with these butterflies, you are definitely not alone, you have these dragonflies in this one, you know, I can't really show that, dragonflies in this one, and you're just like walking and taking these beautiful steps, and you're taking this journey, it's time for you to get up and take this journey alone, and don't be afraid, but you know what I feel in this energy, that you've been with this energy for so long, and this person been with you for so long, that you both have a journey to take but you rather take it together within this conflict within this separation in this walking around eggshells with each other and this um oh my god this toxic vibe that's going on within the devil between you and this person um this person feel like they have a claim on you um you feel like you have a claim on this person vice versa it's like both mutual feelings here between each other within the two of cups even if you guys are separated but i feel like they could be a marriage here it could be some kind of vows that were taken or some kind of promise that was made for towards each other 
here as well but this is what I'm seeing you guys I hope this resonates if it does you know what to do like this video here on the white tea and if it doesn't you guys I will have your playlist linked below in the description box I love you guys and I'll see you guys in your next read bye guys